changes change of physical state we know the solid liquid and gaseous states of water take some pieces of wax in a bowl and heat them we can see that the wax melts and becomes liquid now keep the same bowl in cold water the wax thickens and solidifies again now heat some butter in a pan the butter melts and becomes liquid now keep the bowl of melted butter in cold water the butter thickens and solidifies again what happens when you heat camphor it directly changes into gas have you imagined why naphthalene balls shrink after a few days naphthalene balls change directly from solid to gaseous state when a substance changes from one state to another the process is called change of state of the substance the state of a substance changes if it is heated or cooled what did we just learn when a substance changes from one state to another the process is called change of state of the substance does water change into vapor the moment we place the vessel on stove does water kept in the fridge change at once into ice a certain amount of heat must be gained or lost to change the state of the substance how do we tell how hot or cold a substance is when a substance gets heat it becomes warm and then hot we can check how hot the water is by putting our hand or finger but it is not the accurate measure we could get severe burns too a thermometer is used to measure temperature degrees celsius is the unit of measuring temperature there are several types of thermometers available digital thermometers are frequently used how to read a thermometer look at this thermometer the bulb at its lower end is filled with mercury the mercury rises to a certain level in the tube above the bulb the scale next to the mercury column tells us the temperature we need to completely immerse the bulb to measure temperature of water when water is kept on stove its temperature rises and reaches a certain level evaporation of water starts taking place here water bubbles start rising faster and faster to the surface the steam mixes in the air this is called boiling point or ebullition of water the boiling point of water is 100 degrees celsius when the vapor cools it is converted into water again this process is called condensation condensation of steam also takes place at 100 degrees celsius thus boiling point and condensation point of water is same water in the ice trays in a fridge become cooler and cooler that is its temperature falls at certain temperature water does not get cooler any more but starts freezing and forms ice the temperature at which this happens is called the freezing point of water the freezing point of water is 0 degree celsius the temperature of air in the freezer of a refrigerator is around minus 18 degree celsius read as minus 18 degrees celsius ice melts at 0 degree celsius which means that freezing point and melting point are the same 
What did we just learn? The temperature at which a substance boils while heating is the same as the temperature at which it condenses when it is cooled. The temperature at which a substance freezes while cooling is the same as the temperature at which it melts when it is heated. 